We present an instructional video for the placement of an implantable tibial nerve stimulator for the treatment of overactive bladder. This video will highlight the steps taken during placement of the Bionis implantable tibial nerve stimulator. Necessary instruments for the procedure are displayed here. Here is a typical stimulator box used in neurosensory testing during the procedure. The patient is positioned supine and the operative leg is frog-legged slightly. Anatomy localization using ultrasound is optional prior to the start of the procedure. However, examining the patient's unique anatomy and marking the skin above the posterior tibial nerve may help orient the surgeon during later steps. An ultrasound probe is used to identify arterial, venous, and nerve structures. The center of the sound head is positioned posterior of the medial malleolus and approximately five centimeters superior. The vascular bundle surrounding the posterior tibial nerve can be visualized here. The nerve is in typical position posterior to the artery and approximately 1.5 centimeters deep. Next, an external probe is used to elicit twitching of the flexor digitorum brevis muscle as seen here. The site on the skin that elicits a strong motor response with the probe is then marked. The lower leg is then prepped with betadine solution and draped in a sterile fashion. A second mark is then made 5 centimeters proximal to the neurosensory marking. At the site of the proximal marking, 1% lidocaine is injected and an incision is made. The stimulation test probe is hooked up to the neurostimulator wire so that neurosensory response can help localize optimal lead position. The test probe is inserted with careful pressure at a 20 to 30 degree angle and will travel to a depth of approximately one centimeter beneath the skin as it is directed to the marked neurosensory site just superior and slightly posterior to the medial malleolus. The probe has to pierce the flexor retinaculum of the foot, which is a tough fascial layer, in order to come into appropriate proximity with the nerve. You should experience a pop as you pass through this fascial layer. The correct positioning of test probe is confirmed with electrical stimulation. If the lead is in close proximity to the nerve, the patient will both be able to experience the stimulation from the probe with subsequent toe fanning or flexor digitorum brevis muscle twitching. The introducer set, which includes the sheath and dilator, is then positioned to the tip of the stimulation probe. This is at the transition from the proximal black marking on the stimulation probe to the copper portion. Stimulation at this positioning confirms muscle twitching. The dilator and test probe are then removed, leaving the introducer sheath in place. The lead within the loader is then inserted through the introducer sheath until it is at the tip of the introducer sheath. The sheath is retracted slightly to expose the electrodes of the lead. Neurosensory testing is performed with electrodes exposed. Once neurosensory response is confirmed, the anchor on the lead is then deployed to fix the lead in place. Following additional injection of lidocaine along the planned trajectory of the lead, a second incision is made superior to the first incision and the excess wire is tunneled under the skin through this incision. To do this, the needle is placed over the stylet and advanced from the proximal to distal incisions. The stylet is removed and the lead receiver is advanced from distal to proximal incision through the needle. The receiver may be pulled back slightly. The incisions are cleaned and closed with 4-0 absorbable suture. The patient is sent home with a three-day course of antibiotics. Three weeks after implantation of the tibial nerve lead, the patient is seen in the office to undergo programming. After programming, the patient may begin their treatment regimen. The current recommended regimen for peripheral stimulation is 30-minute sessions three times a week. The external stimulator patch is placed over the implant only for the duration of the treatment session and the patient may move around while the external stimulator patch is on. Funding for production of this video was provided through an unrestricted grant from Bionis Incorporated. Mm -hmm.